Alright, so to widen your seat, your position just sits on Velcro, so you can just throw that off. And then you got these four corner screws right here, which you'll just take off with an Allen key. Which I already loosened earlier, but be careful not to strip them because they can be kind of soft. So make sure you have one that fits in there really good. Then the next four you'll take out is these right here. These are actually on the bars that slide to widen the seat. The only reason you got to take them off is they're also going through the pan, unlike this back set, which we're going to leave in there. We're just going to loosen them up a little bit. Hi, my name is Alex, co-owner of Mars Stability. If you have found this video useful, please click on the subscribe button below. If there's something else you would like to see, please leave a comment below in the comment section. Enjoy the rest of this demonstration. So I'm just going to move the arms up to get them out of the way. Hand comes right off. So now you want to get these loose. Sometimes the easiest way to do that is to get this back out of the way because you don't have to work around the cushion. These ones you only need to loosen up a couple of turns. You can see that one's already moving. All right, so right now this one's sitting at 18. If you look at these dots right here, they kind of tell you. That's 20, 19, 18, 17, all the way in at 16. So you want to widen them up with whatever you want. Say you want to get the seat to 20 wide, that's what I'm going to set it up for. So I put that one there, this one here, Again, get this out of the way. Tighten up your back screws. And again, same thing if you're gonna set it up for 18, 19, it's just set it up for either one of those dots. Just wherever you need it, that's where you set it up. That's gonna move around on you a little bit until you get that, until you get that pan back on. Then line up your holes again, and you, this is how you can tell if you got it right too. It'll say 20 right there since I got it out to 20. So you just put all your screws back in. I'm not going to completely tighten all of them just to save some time, but yeah, once you, you want to get them all started, you want to tighten one up at one time. You know, get everything in there and then go back and tighten them all up. They're all in there, so like I said, I'm not going to do it, but go back now and tighten all these completely so nothing shifts on you. And next, to widen the arms out, because you see after you do that, the arms are going to be sitting inside. There's two bolts you want to loosen up. You want to loosen up this top one here, which again, just give it a couple turns, just enough to it so it separates from the teeth here. And then there's one underneath here. Loosen that one. Again, it's a pretty big Allen wrench on this one. You just got to find the right size for it. And get it until it starts shifting a little bit. So you should be able to. You should see now that this part will come out. But with this part coming out, obviously it's going to leave this at an angle. So that's why you loosened up this one, which needs a little bit more. And now, when you bring this one out, you can bring this side back in. And just whenever you're done, whenever you get whatever desired you need in between it, just you might want to hold it in place a little bit so it doesn't shift on you. Tighten it back up. You like said it was about three turns. Like 
like that. And again, just make sure nothing shifts on you. It's in place where you want it. And just do the exact same thing on the opposite side. You'll be good to go. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800-677-6293 or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com.